Hey, welcome to Hollywood Happens. I'm John McQuilkin. Thanks for tuning in. Our top story today, Jack LaLanne, the godfather of fitness, has passed away. He died on Sunday of respiratory failure due to pneumonia. He was 96. May he be an inspiration to us all. Becoming Chaz, a new documentary featuring the gender reassignment transformation of Chastity Bono to Chaz Bono, premiered at the Sundance Film Festival over the weekend. Now I got a chance to get a sneak peek at this documentary and let me tell you it is riveting. It will knock your jock off, I mean knock your socks off, so check it out if you get a chance. And Brett Michaels is undergoing heart surgery today to repair a hole in his heart, which was discovered when the doctors were treating him for that brain hemorrhage. So we certainly wish him a speedy and full recovery. American Idol has two new judges, Jennifer Lopez and Steven Tyler, and so far they are doing a rocking job. As you guys know, last season I boycotted the show because of the firing of the witty and intelligent Paula Abdul. But with these new judges, I'm willing to give it another try. How about you? And on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene and Kim have gotten into another huge fight. And let me tell you, these women are geniuses. They know exactly what they're doing because these huge fights bring in the ratings and it assures that they will be back for the next season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So congratulations to them. But on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I'm not so sure Camille Grammer will be returning because in my opinion, the editors of the show are making her out to look like a complete lunatic. And let me tell you, this woman is no lunatic. She is sincere, she is truthful, she is compassionate, and she is a beautiful humanitarian. So I hope if she does return, the editors are just a little bit more fair with her. Hey, did you guys go see a film this past weekend? If you did, you probably saw No Strings Attached with Ashton Kutcher and Natalie Portman because that film dominated at the box office. It opened at $20.3 million. Now, The Green Hornet brought in another 18.1 mil for a grand total of 63.4 million. The Dilemma, another 9.7 mil for a grand total of 33.4 million. The King's Speech, another 9.1 mil for a grand total of 58.6 million. And rounding out the top five, True Grit brought in another 8 million for a grand total of $139 million. So if you guys went to see a film this past weekend, on behalf of the box office, I'd like to give you a great big thank you. Hey, celebrating a birthday today, Ernest Borgnine turns 94. Yes, cigar smoking, beer guzzling, Ernest Borgnine is 94, but yet the godfather of fitness, Jack LaLanne, 96, has passed away. Go figure. Anyways, we wish him well. Tatiana Ali turns 32, and Misha Barton turns 25. And I'm sure they're all watching, so I want to wish them all a great big old Hollywood Happens happy birthday. In music news, one of my all-time favorite bands, Social Distortion, has a new album that is out. It's called Hard Times in Nursery Rhymes. Check it out. It is phenomenal. Okay, here's my quote of the day, and it is one of my favorite quotes. You'll reach your destination with the compass of your heart. <clears throat> Isn't that a good one? Well, that's it for today's show. Thank you all so much for watching. Keep in mind that in addition to being the unofficial spokesperson of Hollywood, I'm also a top Los Angeles real estate agent. So if you know anyone thinking of buying or selling a house, make sure they contact me. Well, again, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. And remember, I'll see you in Hollywood.